Yeah, my name is uh, Melvin Ishmael Johnson with Drama Stage Qumran Theater Company. Uh, I was just glad to have an opportunity to tell you a little about our organization. Uh, Drama Stage Qumran is a recovery theater company, and we are based upon two models, what is known as the Community Theater Model and the Nasana Model that forms the whole structure uh, for our theater company. Now, the community theater model is the harmonious integration of seven components working in the spirit of harmony to present community theater to the community. And those components are the word, the artist, the audience, the drama stage group, which is the back of the house that deals with the technical aspect and the front of the house that deals with the business publicity aspect. And then there's the Young People's Theater Company, there's the Dance Company, and then it's the Anti-Violence Situation Coping Group, which is a conflict resolution group. The other model that sets our structure is called the Nasana model. The Nasana Mala takes its name from the first letters of six concepts working in a spirit of harmony to impact the violence in the individual, home, school, and community. And those six concepts are nutrition, exercise, spirituality, one-on-one, -on -one, uh, the uh, needs fulfillment, and the Anti-Violence Situational Coping Group. The Anti-Violence Situational Coping Group is a conflict resolution group that we develop that can be utilized uh, uh, by the community to dramatize various violent situations so the community will be able to look at these situations and examine these situations in details and come up with solutions to these violent situations before they escalate into violence. So these are the two these are the two models that uh, set the structure for drama stage Qumran, the community theater model and the Nasana model. Now we exist in the Skid Row area. As I mentioned earlier, we are a recovery theater company. We've been in existence going on about four years now. Since our, our signature play, the first play we did was called Surviving the Nickel. And it deals with uh, two community members who fall from mainstream society and they end up on Skid Row. And we see them do various situations as they uh, work themselves, get themselves together and work themselves up out of the, uh, the homeless situation that they find themselves in. Uh, uh, the second play that we did was a play called Catch the Tiger, and that deals with uh, J. Edgar Hoover and Marcus Garvey. This was the, uh, the code name that Marcus Garvey used uh, for, that J. Edgar Hoover used for Marcus Garvey when he was developing the uh, strategy to bring down Marcus Garvey in the uh, Universal Negro Improvement Association. And that's what this play is about. Uh, uh, it deals with what makes this play so important is this is where J. Edgar Hoover got all of his training and techniques in terms of what, what he developed when he was studying the Marcus Garvey movement. He developed a concept called infiltration and disinformation. And later on, this concept will become the counterintelligence program, better known as COINTELPRO, that uh, Hoover used all during the 60s against organizations like the Black Panthers, the Nation of Islam, etc. Any organizations that he considered to be uh, anti-American. We've also done uh, a young people's plays. We, we got a play called Stone in the Road that we developed for our young people's uh, theater company. Since then, we've, we've done a, a, a gang intervention play uh, um, called Wake Up, written uh, by Mr. Timothy uh, Big Mac Mackey, 
We also uh, did a little short play that deals with uh, group therapy and mental illness called uh, Group Scurvy, written by Mr. Alan uh, Evans. We've done a, a, a two, a, another play that we will be performing uh, this coming Sunday at the Exchange in downtown LA. That's this coming Sunday, September the 20th at four o'clock. And that's right at the corner of Fifth and uh, Main in downtown LA. We'll be performing a play that deals with the women's a skit rope. And this play is called Our Mother's Daughters. And this play chronicles the, uh, uh, the livelihood of the women's and the families and the things that they have to do to survive in the uh, Skid Row area. Now we also have another sh play that we developed for the um, the Peace Center on the <coughs> on the campus of USC. This play is called Nail Heads, and this play deals with the uh, the homeless situation, where uh, you know in the county of LA, uh, at any given time, there are between eighty thousand to 100,000 people that sleep on the streets of, of LA within this county uh, every night. And so we did this play where we take nails that symbolize the homeless because they have so much similarity, just like nails uh, find themselves in dark and tight spaces, it's the same with the homeless. And just like nails are really the building blocks of the, the foundations of the houses is just like the homeless. People don't notice them, but they steal the foundations of our society and our uh, uh, community. Now, me, myself, I've been involved in the theater. I got involved in the, in the theater back in the uh, Detroit, Michigan area, the, uh, the urban radical um, uh, uh, theater when I was uh, studying um, really uh, the ideas of the Honorable uh, Elijah Muhammad and the Nation of uh, Islam in Temple Number no. 1 in Detroit where they was talking about doing for yourself, self-help program, etc. like that. Uh, but we formed a theater company in Detroit called the African Renaissance Theater Company. And for a number of years from 1977 all the way up to about 1985, uh, we had a, a theater company, uh, uh, we worked out in the Langston Hughes Theater Company there. We did a couple of productions, uh, Inner City Travelers, a couple of uh, comedies, short stuff about uh, life in the urban Detroit area. We also had an opportunity to work with the uh, first black television station in uh, uh, the nation, it was Channel 62. Uh, uh, then that came out in the uh, late 70s. Uh, so Drama Stage Qumran, what we hope to uh, accomplish here is to form a full-scale community theater company that is accessible and affordable. Because the most important thing that you have in, uh, in, in Los Angeles, which is an entertainment area out here, is you have theater. You have just as many theater companies here in Los Angeles as you have in New York, you know, off-Broadway theater company. But the, uh, the, the problem is the affordability. You know, when you, when you have ticket prices that are 50 and 60 dollars, the community members cannot really afford to, uh, 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 to attend. And so that's one of our goals is to create an affordable theater that's accessible and about the community members. Thank you very much.